two or three from the Twinkies. Two or three for the White Sox. And the Mud Hens go seven and one at home. I love you guys and welcome to an all new edition of All Andy Alfred right here on Clay Fan 2 3. I am your host, Andrew Alfred. Gotta tell you what, I apologize for no show on Friday. Technical and time constraints. Sorry. We will try to improve on that. But how about them Tigers this weekend? How about them? Taking two or three from the Twins. Friday night, Galarraga got the win. He's now 6-10 with a 5.23 ERA. Swords that goes to 3-5 with a 5.44 ERA. Mauer home run for the Twins. Cabrera and this new kid, Alex Avila. Great pickup for the Tigers. Lead the Tigers to a victory 10-8 on Friday night. Saturday rolls around. Day and night. One night they're good. The next night, gone. He gets shot out eleven to nothing. And by the way, if you uh, since there was no show on Friday, I forgot to announce that Carl Pavano was traded to the Minnesota Twins. He got the start Saturday night. He is now known as the Tiger Killer. Pavano goes ten and eight with a five point zero nine ERA. Verlander goes to twelve and six with a three point four five ERA. And Mauer home run. His 20th of the season as the Tigers got shut out 11 to nothing. Detroit sent Washburn to the hill yesterday. No decision. But they get the win. Lions gets the win. He's now 5 and 4 with an even 3.0 ERA. Gardner goes to 5 and 1 with a 2.28 ERA. And Rodney gets his 23rd save. It's the Tigers win 8 to 7, taking 2 or 3 from the Twins. As Kadire and Young homered for the Twins. And Cabrera and Marcus Thames homered for the Tigers. Now tonight, we go to Fenway Park. Unbelievable. Jackson on the hill. He's 8-5 with a 2.62 ERA. And Brad Penny goes on the hill for the Twins. He's now 7-8 with a 5.20 ERA. That game is on FSN. Detroit. Tiger, the uh, Cleveland Indians took two or three from the White Sox. Thank you, Cleveland. Uh, on Jeremy Sowers Day Friday night, everybody says, well, Jeremy Sowers is going to give us a win. He didn't. Cleveland won. Sowers gets the victory. He goes to four and seven with a 4.75. Burley goes, gets the loss. He's now 11 and six with a 3.89 ERA as the, tight, as the Indians win six to two. Off of two Kelly Shopic home runs. Saturday. Again, like I said, day and night. Ty gets the loss. 0-1 with a 6.75 ERA. It's one of the new kids from the Minnesota deal. Castillo goes to 4-1 with a 3.82 ERA. As the Indians lose 8-5, Tommy homered. For the White Sox. Now yesterday. The Indians win. Indians win. The Indians win. They win 8-4. to four. Huff gets the win. He goes to an even 500. 6-6. Six and six, With a 6.72 ERA. Contreras gets a loss. He goes to 4-11. and 11 With a 5.9 ERA. Carroll. Homered for the Tribe. Brzezinski and Ramirez. For the White Sox. Now, Cleveland is off today, and they'll start a series against Texas on Tuesday. The Mud Hens took 7-1, seven, seven wins and one loss this homestand. They beat Gwinnett Sunday 8-4. Bodine gets the win. He's 3-5 with a 4.43 ERA, and Holland goes to 3-4 with a 4.62 ERA, and Casey Fiend gets his tenth, his tenth save of the season. Toledo is off today. And with that in mind, let's break it down right now. It's time for the standings in the central. Detroit is 59 and 51. Chicago is 57 and 55. Three games back of the Detroit Tigers. Big help from Cleveland. Thank you. 
Minnesota is now 54 and 57, five and a half back of the Detroit Tigers. Cleveland is 48 and 63, 11 and a half back of the Detroit Tigers. K Kansas City is officially dead last, 43 and 68, 16 and a half back. In the Iowa West, Louisville is 65 and 49. They lead the division. Toledo is now officially 57, 58. Eight and a half out of the bats. Indianapolis is 56 and 58. Nine games out of the bats. Columbus is officially dead last. They're like Kansas City. 48, 65, 16 and a half back of the bats. Hey, last night in the NFL, we had our first, first preseason game. It was the scrimmage at Canton, Ohio. It was Buffalo and Tennessee. Tennessee a winner 21 to 18. Collins went 7 for 10 with 82 yards, and Hamilton goes 11 for 13 with 89 yards. As we begin preseason football, we'll be doing something about that. Oh, hey, walleye tickets are now officially on sale, so if you want to go down and grab yourself a couple, and they are, and in my opinion, as a as a as a hockey fan. They go on they go on sale, but they don't go on sale for opening night. Answer me that question. You sell every other ticket, but you don't sell opening night. Unbelievable. That's why. That's why. Hey, uh I have a couple of announcements for you that we're gonna be changing the um, recording schedule for this show. Starting next Monday, uh the show will be taped approximately 4 35 o'clock and will probably be posted about 5 30 that's on monday wednesday and friday tuesday and thursday show will be typical and uh also thursday show we will be previewing the nhl seat it will be myself nicholas devera from airsoft and sports .net. will be joining me in studio We'll be talking, breaking down the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Detroit Red Wings, the Chicago Blackhawks, the Columbus Blue Jackets, and the Washington Capitals. So uh, stick around on that Thursday show. You might want to watch that. But I am Andrew Alford, and I hope you have an excellent day. I know I am, and I have something new. <laughs> this is this is my Bullfrog logo, apparently. Uh, the staff doesn't know... What, when they're coming out with the plush things or the hats. So uh, they gave me this. It's a little bee baby. But it's a frog, so I call it the bullfrog. But remember, I'm Andrew Alford, and I hope you have an excellent day. And remember, as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. And especially the teams behind me. Victory is sweet when you have tasted defeat. Have a nice night, everybody, and go Tigers!